the 2015 Not Scary Farm Preview! <laughs> Weren't they lovely? Yeah. yeah! One of the perks, let me tell you. Let me tell you, before this evening is up, you will know everything that's coming for Not Scary Farm 2015. <laughs> the secrets will be revealed to you. All right, I need to know if you're ready, so let me hear you. Are you ready? I love it. I love you guys. Thank you. The uh, best fans of the industry, thank you for coming out on this. Love you too. Thank you for coming out on this brisk, cold <laughs> fall day to talk about all things scary and spooky, but we wouldn't have it any other way, right? What have I said before? Halloween is not a holiday. It's a way of life. It can never come too early for me. So welcome. I am Jeff Tucker. We're going to talk about everything for Not Scary Farm 2015, and we're going to get it started right here with the return of the Scary Farm Pass. How many of you have your passes already? All right. Well, you can get one tonight. If you're a season pass holder for Not Scary Farm, you can get one of these for $70. That allows you to go where? Every single night of Scary Farm. That is the most amazing Halloween deal anywhere. So there's $70 now and through September 20th. After that, the price goes up to $80. And you can add parking this year. If you're a non Berry Farm season pass holder, and you already have parking, you already have parking! You don't have to buy it again, unless you're bringing two cars, and then I don't know what you're up to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome everybody who's here live. How many people are live tweeting, periscoping, meerkatting? A lot of people, I like that. Welcome everybody virtually around the world who's watching. We want to thank you all for coming, for sitting here and anywhere else around the world because like I said, we do have the greatest fans in the world. I love talking to you guys. I love meeting with you guys. It's like a scary pumpkin flavored love affair. Well, let's go ahead and get it started with 2015 The Shows. There are two shows this year. The first one is... She Needs... She Needs No Introduction. Elvira, the Mistress of the Dark, returns... for Elvira's Asylum. And who was at Scare LA? A lot of you were at Scare LA. Unfortunately, there will be no bounce house in the show. In a spectacular all-new show, Elvira's Asylum, featuring insane levels of music, dance, and comedy. Let's hear it for Elvira! We love Elvira. And the other show is... The Hanging Straight Outta Calico! what they wrote about it. Not Scary Farm annual necktie party and pop culture kill fest returns to Calico Square. The lawman is back to once again rid the world of the past year's most notorious and obnoxious offender while battling his toughest challenge to date. And what do you think that is? It's an audience armed with smartphones. That's right. For the first time ever in hanging history, you, the audience, will write the show. So, 
If it sucks, you have only yourself to blame. And that's what they wrote for me. I love that. So, uh, smartphone in hand, because you know what? Why experience something when you can be on your phone? Okay. The Hanging Baby, straight out of Calico. Who loves the Hanging? How many times have we killed Justin Bieber? And the answer is, not enough, right? He's, he's not even relevant anymore. I bet, I bet if we brought Justin Bieber to the Hanging this year, the audience would go, who is that? Is that Jimmy Fallon? I don't know who that is. Oh, the greatest revenge is time, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we're going to keep this moving here, folks. We're going to talk about the Scare Zones. I'm not scared of 2015. And the first one is Fiesta de los Muertos. Dance, music, and colorful costumes, and larger than life still walkers in a dance party scare zone with even more characters than last year, the ultimate late night celebration of Dia de los Muertos, right? We love it. Ole, right? And here's a favorite right here. Carnival! Anybody love clowns? Anybody terrified of clowns? Anybody happy with both? Me, I'm terrified of Ronald McDonald, that's right. It needs no introduction because each night the clowns of the carnival, of the boardwalk, terrorize everybody in a scare zone they said would never work, and yet the clowns made it scary. They are some of the most hardworking monsters at haunt. We love the clowns of carnival, right? All right, and right here, folks, where Scary Farm was born, right here. The largest, most terrifying scare zone that started it all. Ghost Town features, are you ready? Bands of half-human, half-animal monsters that prowl the streets and inhabit the fog. This is where I got the term, see you in the fog, right here in Ghost Town. And there's something new this year. First off, it's bigger than ever. It's the biggest Ghost Town scare zone we've ever done. There is no safe place to hide anywhere. <laughs> Except maybe the bathroom. And trust me, if you're hiding in the bathroom, I've seen monsters prowl outside 10, 20 minutes, waiting for you to come out. New this year, there will be a new character inhabiting Ghost Town. He'll have his own little tiny area. He's ready to inhabit it. And he is, I'm getting to it, sweetheart. I like it. He is the doll maker. He, uh, he may have some ties to a very famous maze that used to be here called the Doll Factory. And he goes to the I love Doll Factory. So the fact that the doll maker is back is fantastic. It'll be up to you to find out where he is and what he's up to. And let me tell you, it's worth the trouble, the doll maker. All right, those are the scare zones, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Before we get to the lineup of mazes, because mazes are coming next, everybody, right now, look under your seats. Under four or five seats, there is an envelope. Did you get one? Like four or five magic golden tickets. Look at everybody. Look at you guys. The most movement I've ever seen. Who's got one? Can we bring the house lights up for a second? Is that possible? Anybody else find one? There should be four, I was told, out there. Four? Let me tell you what's in it. Might make it hunt a little harder. Two tickets to Scary Farm. Two Fright Lane passes. And 
two fast lane passes if you're one of those guys who needs to go on rides while you're here. Anyone? Did we find them? All right, well, they're out there. Everybody settle down. Oh, wait, I have, I have, I have the fifth one right here. Oh, this one's mine. It says, I've won a date with one of the ghouls. I will, I will save that for later. And I will hope it's one of the two that brought me out. All right, are we done with that, everybody? Code four, we good? Did we find all four? Do we know? So we did find them, okay. No, this one's mine, baby. All right, here we go. All right, now that, okay, everybody settle in. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're rolling down here. It's time to talk about returning mazes. Here we go. All right, do you follow us on Facebook, everybody? A lot of it announced on Facebook, on Facebook, so on MySpace too, but only two people heard about it, so. All right, the first returning base is Pinocchio Unstrung. It returns bigger and badder than ever with a brand new skeleton key room. Pinocchio Unstrung, right? The Blue Fairy doesn't grant his wish doesn't turn him into a real little boy, so he stalks the town looking for skin to make himself real. Like anybody would. Like anybody would. Let's get him a break. Pinocchio One Strong returns, everybody. You ready to keep going? Yeah. Are you sure you haven't heard enough? It's like, look, Jeff, we're good. We gotta go. Some a and PM's having a sale. Let's go. Let's continue. Returning, Black Magic! Yeah. With an all-new skeleton key room. Houdini's vengeful spirit wreaks havoc. You will encounter Houdini and all his failed illusions of people getting chopped up into a final confrontation with Houdini in hell, of course, because where else would he be? Black Magic remains a favorite. Its first year was one of the most popular debuts ever here at Knott's Dairy Farm, and we're happy that it's returning. Should we keep going? Let's go. Also returning right here, folks, Trick or Treat. But it's not the same old house you've seen. Take a brave step forward, ring the bell of the witch's house, and inside you will find the never-before-seen potion room and the bewitched attic. And at the end, you'll be a special guest at the Green Witch's deadly dinner party where she and her menacing tricksters await your arrival. <laughs> Gotta love the tricksters, right? Thank you. One guy. Yeah, okay, we like him. All right. Also returning right here. Forevermore! And yes, the guy on the slide did not see it coming. Follow the destruction of the Forevermore killer, one haunting tale of another, and for the first time ever, Skeleton Key Room on Forevermore. So you can find out what this Forevermore killer has been up to. All right, folks, we're going to keep going. We're going to take it down a notch. We're going to bring it down, dim the lights, and show you the return of Voodoo, Order of the Serpent. <laughs> continues on a forbidding journey to conjure a serpent demon goddess. That's what that guy's up to. I should have known. I've been trying to conjure a serpent demon goddess since I was like 14. All right. You will drudge through the cursed swamps with an all new skeleton key room for voodoo order of the serpent. All right. Brace yourselves, folks. This makes people really nauseous. Are you ready? Roll it, the return of Tooth Fairy.
as ever, obviously from the mind originally of Daniel Miller, returns with the addition of a jaw-dropping, interactive, skeleton tea room and a brand new, horrifically new ending. Mmm, nice. Unbelievable special effects include a blackout room where you have to feel your way out. And a disorienting x-ray strobe light room. So, as if the drill directly into your teeth wasn't enough, they've conjured up all new. All right, you ready for another one? We're gonna keep going. We're just rolling through these, right? You let me know if I'm going too fast, anybody needs to go to the restroom, because we'll all laugh at you, all right? Here we go. The return. Special Ops Infected, patient zero. Citizens, please remain calm. The following is not a test. The CDC is placing a government mandate quarantine on this area. We are now under the control of Special Ops. Three pounds. 
Jones. Oh my God. And I know what he's working on. If this thing ever comes back, I know that the zombie's just going to go this year. Look, this year, when you shoot a zombie, he actually turns into a first aid kit. Just, just like in a video game. All right, are we ready to go? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the first ever Western themed maze at Not Scary Farm. This year it's all new. How? Did, how? I don't know. Gunslinger's Grave. Let's do it. <laughs> Gunslinger! Yeah, we killed your wife. We could have killed you too. More fun to watch you cry like a baby. You gonna hunt down the red hand gang to the last man? Well, I'm all that's left, gunslinger. There's something you don't understand. This is bigger than the Red Hand Gang. There are forces at work here that you'll never... <laughs> like I was saying, there are forces at work that you don't understand. Oh, hell. Looks like I'm gonna need some silver bullets. Year. Well, actually not last year, 1884, Halloween night, Gunslinger goes out, has a little bit of a vendetta you might have seen, and he kills each and every one of the Red Hand Gang dead. Maze over? That's got to be the end of it, right? Oh, hell no, Jeff Tucker! <laughs> Look, you're making me even shorter than I am. I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to help out. All right, that's much so, better, okay. Little does the gunslinger know that the Red Hand Gang made a pact with a local skinwalker. Now, this year, they're back, and they didn't take too kindly to be a shot. Oh, no. It's going to be madder, it's going to be crazier, it's going to have an all-new finale, and it's going to be so much furrier. Ladies and gentlemen, Gunslinger's Grave of Blood Moon Rising. Yeah! yeah. The perfect way to continue the story. It started Absolutely. out as the first themed Western maze, and now it's supernatural. Don't we always go there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, but that's not all you've got up your sleeve this year. No. No. Ladies no, and gentlemen, as announced at Scare Lake, Gus Kruger's Dead of Winter. you are going to travel to a far-off icy land that is ruled over by a despotic and very, very angry Snow Queen. She's taken over the place with an army of undead Viking warriors. She is pissed, and she is going to make each and every one of you pay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to freeze you in the dead of winter. We, we, we were just talking, Gus, about how a lot of mazes are darkness and, and, and shadows and this is not like that. This is a new experience because a lot of it is lit in the snow. Yeah, I always wanted to do a real high contrast maze and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do so. We're not going to be afraid of bright whites, we're not going to be afraid of really dark darks, and we're really not going to be afraid of, afraid of rich blood red, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we like to hear. Are you good? We are good, but wait, wait, wait. One more thing I'd like to add. 
you may think it's going to be all fun and games, but ladies and gentlemen, if you have that skeleton key, my little queen will be waiting for you, and she'll be very happy to see you. All right. Gus Kruger, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Here's what we got to do. We've been screaming and yelling the whole time. We did take it down a little bit. Just a little bit. We need to make it a little darker in here. Just a little bit. And I got a good reason for it. Because here we are, the Ghoul Time Theater, right? Yeah. Need to make it a little different. Why don't we make it by turning out the lights just a little bit more like the Calico Mine Ride? Yeah. Clementine. Um, Clementine and her father move to uh, Calico and they go into the mine ride and they're viciously murdered. Um, now their spirits haunt the mine ride and they're waiting for to get the victim of the people who killed them. <laughs> right. It sounds like light stuff, so I think it'll be great, like a little family ride through the mine ride. It's great. There's there's two things I really want to point out. Uh, today is that one we've really boosted up the technology in the mine ride since the rehab that we did the audio has really improved and now we're also adding video mapping so we can really tell a story a good ghost story inside the mine and we can see the progression of Clementine from a sort of innocent ghost to a more demonic Really messed well, up. You ghost. grows up and you grows up, right? Yes. But there's one thing you're leaving out, the most important part, and the one they all are dying to know, which is what? My right has talent this year. Light so enjoy it. All right, get to Miller, everybody. The number one most requested, uh, most uh, often question I get, when will monsters return to the mine ride? This year, everybody! <laughs> How about that live Clementine? Wasn't she great? Yeah. Terrifying. All right. Are we ready to keep going? Because now we're going to talk about another brand new attraction that has never been revealed before until right at this very moment. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Oh, come on! You're tired and it's hot. I'm the one wearing the big jacket. Are we ready for it? For 2015, Not Scary Farm is proud to present something very special. But you know what? I could drone on and on and on. But instead, it's better to show you. So please welcome the team from Paranormal Incorporated, Chad, Barry, James, and James, Barry, and Jack right over there, and we're from the hit television show of the same name, Paranormal Inc. Perhaps you've heard of it. Yeah, and we actually journey around the world in search of ectoplasmic uh, proof that there's an existence of another world. And what are you saying in English this time? We hunt ghosts. Oh, you hunt ghosts! Oh, that's 
Astro. Okay, I, I've seen your show. It's on basic cable. I have seen it, right? That's where you guys go into like old houses and stuff with like with like uh, night vision and all that, and you look for ghosts. Have you found? Okay, so you're here. Have you found any ghosts here? Not as of yet. With all the EMF detectors been going off in this area a lot recently, and we think we're on the trail of one of the biggest supernatural strongholds since that infestation over at uh, Murder Manor a few years back. I remember it. Uh, we're going to be uh, investigating Hayden Hill right here at Not Scary Farm. All right, all right. So you're going to do a live show right from here. Well, 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 we're kind of in the middle of something. I'm glad you guys did that. If you come up with it, just let me know. Barry, Barry, we're going to continue the show. I haven't seen readings this high in a long time. Barry, what did you recalibrate that? Uh -huh. What the hell is that? Well, I mean, I recalibrated the ghost close last night. It was quite clean and reset, so whatever's setting that off, that is not a glitch. Okay, look, can you guys knock it off? Just knock it off. Whatever you're doing, just knock it off. What?
Send out one of those cool. Oh, perfect. Oh, even better. I hope you will join us 2015 Not Scary Farm, September 24th through October 31st. Get a get a pass so you can come to every night. 